What's going on YouTube? Kevin here with a video review for the Emerson bag from Hello Lulu. Before I begin this review, I want to thank Nelly and the whole crew out there at Hello Lulu for sending this out to me for review. Go ahead and check out their website guys, link will be down below in the video description as always. So as you can tell from the title of this video, this is a large DSLR camera bag. However, I do not have one of those ginormous cameras like the Nikon D4 or the Canon 1DX to actually fit into this camera. I actually don't own those cameras. But I do have a moderately sized, you know, medium sized, good sized uh, DSLR in here. And I'm going to show you what all it can hold in terms of the capacity and, you know, what it's best used for. But first, I always want to talk about the outside and talk about the color. This is available in four colors here. I have the black ink color scheme. It also comes with a charcoal color scheme, a Dutch blue, or a wild strawberry if you so wish to have a different design or different color scheme to your camera bag. So the one thing I wanted to talk about first was something that's very important, and that's the fact that this is made of nylon. The outside of this is made of nylon, so if it is starting to rain, or if you are starting to get a little bit of a drizzle, your gear will be protected, and you know the whole bag is water resistant pretty much, as long as you don't have any open zippers or things like that. We also have pockets on the outside. We have three of them. We have one on both sides. We have one here. And we also have one here. These aren't very big, but they're decently deep. So if you have things that are you know thinner, like filters or lens caps or memory cards, things like that, you can put them in here. I probably wouldn't put memory cards in because they might sink to the bottom and it would be hard to fish out. But you have that. And you also have a zipper pouch here. So if you have some things that are more valuable that you don't want to risk, you know, having them gone, like things like batteries or you know slightly more important things or things that are slightly larger, they will fit in this zipper pouch. It's not that big, but I think if you wanted to count it, it could. It, it's about an inch like deep wise that way. You'll notice here that we have a, z a button here that secures the main flap to the Emerson bag, and you can unbutton this, but you also have extra security. You have a zipper here as well. Now, I'm not personally a huge fan of this double security, you know, kind of fastening to make sure your bag is closed, but if you are, if you're someone that really values your gear, and not saying that I don't, but... I just, I'm just not a huge fan of that. I prefer just one locking, locking mechanism, whether it be a zipper or a button. I'm not a huge fan of having both, just because it's a little bit cumbersome to open and close if you want to get to your gear really quickly. So when we open this up, you will find there is a, yet another zipper pouch, which you can you know stick more of the same, just use your imagination as a camera bag, stick whatever you want in there, memory cards, batteries, lens caps, uh, filters, again, all that kind of good stuff. We also have contact information that you can write your name and your phone number in here so if you know you lose your bag and the people that find it are nice enough not to steal it then they can contact you and get your gear back to you you have this flap here which i'm pretty sure is just more water resistant um protection because this part feels like nylon the inside of it is made of polyester though it's made of kind of this meshy thing so it kind of lets your dslr breathe and here we just have some stuff that I kind of shoved in here. This is not really official, but this is what I could fit in here, and this is what I think is practical to fit into a bag like this. So like I mentioned earlier, I don't have a huge DSLR to show and put in this bag to demonstrate, you know, this will contain a pretty large DSLR, but I do have a moderately sized, a pretty good sized uh, DSLR in this bag. Here I have a Canon 60D with a 50mm f1.4 lens on it. So... It does fit pretty well, and based off their product shots, you're actually supposed to put it like this, which makes kind of more sense because it fits a little better. But um, it doesn't really matter which way you put it. Your body and a smaller lens will fit, though. I wouldn't recommend putting a you know bigger telephoto lens on here because it probably won't fit, but that is what the rest of the bag is for. So right now, I'm just going to take this out. So the middle compartment is for your main DSLR and a smaller, slightly versatile lens, or whatever smaller lens you can put on there that will fit. Here we also have room on the sides, and I just threw some accessories in here to show that you know this is what I can carry, what I find is practical. Here is where you would put your you know zoom lens, your telephoto lens. This is a 24 to 105 f4L lens from Canon, and even though this is a you know pretty good range zoom lens, it still does fit in here if you put it like that. So you can do that, or you know just use your imagination. You can put a speed flash in here, a speed light, excuse me. And you know any other type of accessory that's that size. On the other side, I just have you know my camera charger. I have this and the battery charger for that. So I have that in there. And here you have you know pretty good padding here. It's about an inch or more thick padding on pretty much everywhere from the top to the bottom to the sides all around. And that is great in case you know you were to drop this bag or if it gets roughhoused a little bit, you have some good protection with the one inch padding. 
So I just wanted to say that when you look up this bag in the video description and click on the link to this product, you will notice that it does say it has adjustable padding inside, and that's what these two pads are. These are the adjustable padding. Now these aren't really adjustable by my terms. They do st uh, stick on by Velcro like most uh, paddings do, but you'll notice that, first of all, there's only Velcro on like this one strip, and there's also a similar Velcro strip on this. So I wouldn't really call it adjustable per se. The only thing I could really think of is if you flip this the other way, so that you have slightly more room on this pocket as opposed to this middle compartment, that's about the extent as far as how adjustable it is. So I wouldn't really take their word for it when they say it's adjustable, but if you want to push that and think that that's adjustable, that's okay. I personally don't think so, but then again, the middle compartment is enough, and this is wide enough so that it can accommodate for you know a decently small size lens and a good size DSLR. So that's just something to note if you guys do have either larger lenses that you want to carry around or things like that. You can you know judge for yourself to see if this is enough space. So just to give you reference, the padding is about the size of my hand. I don't have a particularly you know, small hands or large hands, I have like a normal size hand. So there's that. This is about how wide it spans. So that is the inside of the DSLR bag from uh, Hello Lulu. This is the Emerson bag again. And well, what do I think about it? Well, this is a pretty good camera bag. And this is, it's not for everyone. This is for, you know, mainly people that either have very, very little equipment. If you're just starting out, you want to carry all of your gear in a very, very small bag because you don't have a lot of gear then this is for you. If you're someone that is like me, you have you know, a DSLR and some lenses and some more accessories, but you're going out on like a shoot or you're going out in nature and you want to carry around minimal gear, then this is also kind of a good bag for you. This is for carrying a minimal amount of gear. If you're going somewhere, it's pretty light. Even if you pack it to full, it's not all that bad. And they also do include a shoulder strap here that extends to a pretty good length and you hook it onto these little plastic loops on the side and even though it doesn't have a shoulder pad it's you know pretty comfortable because it's pretty wide so it distributes that force over a larger distance and also um, the fact that this bag does not get all that heavy when you load it up with your gear so what do I think about this bag well for the cost of around ninety dollars I'm not sure if I would say it's worth it I mean don't get me wrong this is a high quality product the stitching is good the material is good everything about it is good but the adjustability part, I'm not a huge fan of that. And the double uh, security you know, mechanisms, not a huge fan of that, but they shouldn't be penalized for that. So it's a great product. I'm just not sure if I would pay $90 for this. So you could be the judge for yourself to see whether or not you think this is worth $90. It is a great bag, don't get me wrong. And you know, it does its job, it does it well. But I'm not sure, again, if it's worth that much money. So you have to be you know, the judge of that, whether you think it's worth it. Personally, I don't. I'm going to say that again just to emphasize it, but again, you can be the judge of that. So overall, again, a really good bag from Hello Lulu. Again, I want to thank Nelly and the whole crew out there for saying it's out to me for you. Go ahead and check out the website, guys. Link will be down below in the video description as always. Until next time, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video review.